How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Whew. I done wore out my air compressor I had. Hell, it was probably 30, 40 year old. I got it for, I think, $25 uh, about 10 years ago. That gum thing just wore plumb out. It just don't make stuff like you used to. Anyway, I went over to Harbor Freight. I need an air compressor. And one thing that they do have is a good return policy. And I had bought, if y'all recall, when I was talking about how I get air to my sandblast cabinet cheap, you recall that I used several uh, uh, air tanks from broken down air compressors from Harbor Freight. I had uh, found this outfit on eBay called Tad Wholesale, T-A-D-D, -D, Tad Wholesale. And they're located in Lebanon, Tennessee, but you can't go up to their place and buy nothing. You gotta do it all on eBay. Anyhow, I had been buying, I don't know, several truckloads. If I say truckloads, I mean pickup truck, not semi-truck. I've been buying up there like every other week, buying a big old truckload of these compressors, and I'd fix them up. I'd, you know, K-ball them, cannibalize this part off that one and put them together and, and end up making some good compressors, then turn around selling them. And I ended up with a couple of nice tanks that I used as, as to have a lot of volume for my air. And my old Campbell Hallsfield Sears Craftsman whatever uh, compressor, like I said, it's about 40 or 50 year old. It finally died. And uh, I was using a little bitty compressor, you know, a little portable compressor, just to try to do some of these glasses. And uh, I realized I don't have to have a whole lot of volume to. Uh, to do some etched glass work. So I decided I'd just go ahead and go with this eight gallon compressor because it was $119. I said, hell, that ain't too bad. And uh, I get there and I got a sale going on and this thing was $98. Now, they offer a one year replacement warranty on it. I think it's 20 bucks. And I asked him, I said, well, what's the regular warranty on it? give me any trouble. He said 90 days. Okay. If I use this thing for 90 days and it does everything I ask it to do, I pretty much got my money's worth out of it. But I asked him, I said, how much time do I have to come back and buy that extended warranty? And they said, you can do it within 30 days. So I had him email my receipt. I always buy at Harbor Freight, always have them email your receipt to you because that heat sensitive cash register tape will turn black if you lay, lay, it up, lay your receipt up on the dash of the truck or get anywhere heat to get to it, it'll turn black and you can't read it. So I always ask them to email your receipt to you or print, print you one and email, but I've always got my receipts in my email so I can always go back to them if I need them. And then I just write down a transaction number, ticket number, whatever, and the date. And I can go in there and they type it up, pull it right up just like that right there, no problem. Anyhow, I want to do a review on this compressor for you. Uh, I have taken a lot of these apart. And I found that most of them that had trouble, had trouble because people either didn't put the oil in it like they were supposed to, or they overfilled it, or they didn't change the oil in it. Everything in here is, is uh, machined out of aluminum, and they ain't real careful about vacuuming out or blowing out the little tiny shavings that might or might not be in there. So I urge you to put your proper amount of oil, and they, the compressor does come with oil. So I urge you to put your proper amount of oil in here and run it for a day or so and then drain that oil out and change it. And whenever you start draining it, you may see little metal filings and that, that means you just saved the life of your compressor. 
But anyway, uh, this is, you know, obviously just open the box and I want to tell you what tools you're going to need to do the assembly, which is not a lot of assembly. You're going to put your wheels on and you're going to need two 17 millimeter wrenches, okay? Two wrenches, 17 millimeter. And you're going to need a five millimeter Allen wrench. And what it's for is the four screws that will attach your handle. You've got Allen head screws that uh, you'll need an Allen wrench to do the handle. Okay? So, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to install the wheels. I'm going to install the handle. And I'm going to put the oil in it. Now the oil, there is a you look on your look on your instructions and there's a sight glass on this thing and you don't fill this thing full of oil you just fill it to where it's right in the middle and you'll see where it's supposed to be now they do not send you a list of instructions on how to assemble this so for those of you that aren't uh, Oh, I don't want to say mechanically inclined, but for those of you that are uh, used to putting stuff together and need some directions, they do have the exploded parts view, so that you can see, you know, how how the wheels go on, which direction, the uh, the little axle bolt goes. Uh, your little Allen screws come with washers and they show you that your washer goes under the head of the Allen screw when you go to install your handle. And the only other thing you've got to install is your little intake filter, your little air filter here. This is a paper filter inside there so you don't ever want to get it wet. And if you run this old machine without it, God Almighty, is it ever loud? And you don't want to suck trash up inside your compressor anyway. And this little fella, it just screws in right here on the side. And I reckon the only reason that they don't have that installed when they ship it is just because they get knocked off and bent and all that kind of stuff. So it just it's just going to screw in right there. So let me uh, let me get this put together and we'll come back, okay? All right. Well, I got the wheels on it, and I've never seen a quick connect like this one here. This, the piece on the outside, stays back when there ain't no hose connected to it. Huh? Okay. Get your funnel. And it can be a funnel you use to do that homemade wine if you need it, whatever. Get your little old funnel there so you don't spill this oil everywhere. This is a 30 weight non detergent air compressor oil. And you don't want to overfill your little compressor. There is a red, little red circle in the middle of this thing. Basically, you just want to fill this up to the middle of that sight glass. If you don't see oil in there, then you best be putting some in it. But anyway, at least you can check your oil real easy. All you got to do is look at it. Now, it used almost every bit of this. So make sure that whenever you... Uh, or if you go get you a compressor, especially if you live a long way from town, get you some 30 weight non-detergent oil. It says air compressor oil. I don't know what the damn difference is. 30 weight non-detergent, 30 weight non-detergent. Right there is where you screw that oil filler cap back in. Your wheels have a little shoulder on them that sticks out and those go towards the center that allows your wheels to be out away from the tank so they don't rub the tank 
your air intake, you just screw it in hand tight. Uh, the four Allen screws are two here, two on the other side with their washers. And that's pretty much it. So, uh, I'm going to fire this thing up. Now, you're not, you shouldn't run a compressor like this on an extension cord, especially a little lightweight cord. Uh, but I have a, a, a 12 gauge cord I'm going to run mine on. I've got so much stuff out here, I can't plug it in in this room, I'll blow the, I'll blow the circuit breaker because I've got a refrigerator, a deep freeze, i got television, computers, lights, I've got a deep freezer out in the garage, all on the same circuit, so I can't be running it in here. So I'm just going to grab a extension cord and stick it in here, the one I've been using outside. And I think it says this thing makes like 88 decibels, I don't know. I imagine that's going to be kind of loud. Then let's see if it works. I was reaching underneath here, making sure that the uh, that the drain valve was closed. That daggum compressor is already up to 90 degrees. I mean 90 PSI. So I reckon I'll be able to do me some engraved glass work now. Uh, I'll do a follow-up on it. If I find that I'm not happy with it, I'll let you know. But it is, it is the eight gallon oil lubricated two horsepower it's a uh, it's not real heavy uh, I picked it up and set it right in the back of the truck let me it just shut off let me see where it shut off at sweet that's 120 psi I think I'm gonna like it uh, if it does good for me I'll buy the uh, one year extended warranty for nineteen dollars and change, nineteen nine twenty bucks to uh, guarantee it good for a full year. I mean, if I'm using it, making money with it, or making stuff for my viewers, uh, it's worth it. All right, well, I uh, I know that wasn't much of a review, but it's pretty simple. You know, four four Allen head screws with four washers, two little old, uh, hubs. All it took was two 17 millimeter wrenches, a five millimeter uh, Allen wrench, and the oil that come with it. And uh, that's all there is to it, folks. Well, if you have any questions, feel free to holler at me, any comments you may have. If you want to ask me, uh, you know, in a comment if I'm still happy with it, that kind of thing, that's cool. I welcome your comments. I also uh, want to make you aware of Every week I have a drawing, I mean every week, I give something away to my viewers. Lately it's been uh, etched glass, some real pretty stuff and you know, make sure to watch for my drawings if you're not a subscriber. And uh, my, uh, my dog Marley, a bunch of my viewers were just so nice, they pitched in money and bought my dog a wheelchair and an orthopedic bed and money to help pay for medications. And if you want to help donate to help my, my uh, little boxer, uh, I, I don't ask for charity. I sell decals. And I'll make you a decal that says, I like doing it cheap for $5. I end up making about $2 off of it. 
And if you donate ten dollars, you get two decals. One that says, "I like doing it cheap," and the other one that says, "I help Marley to walk and roll." Well, folks, I've rambled long enough. Thank you so much for watching my videos, and please subscribe and tell all your friends. You have a wonderful day, and a better tomorrow. Bye.